Stampers and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be making the coolest favor box. You'll be able to put candy, treats, or all kinds of little goodies inside this container. How stinking cute is this bonnet? My friend Christy Hirsch showed me how to make this and I was just dying. It is so stinking cute. I couldn't wait to show you guys. So be sure to thank her for this great idea. I am actually using an empty Stampin' Stack container from one of Stampin' Up's Brad's. You can also purchase these containers empty in my online store. So stinking cool. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the scallop die for the Big Shot and some Baja Breeze cardstock. We'll make a little sandwich here between two cutting pads and crank that through the Big Shot die cut machine. Then using our two and three inch scallop circle punch, pop out another Baja Breeze. Now to give these guys a little pizzazz, we're gonna use the polka dots impressions folder. They'll have to go through separately because they don't both fit at the same time. Make a sandwich with the polka dot between two cutting pads. Place it on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform. And crank it through the big shot. You want to do that with both the little one and the big one. So look at you've got this cool little polka dot texture on there. Okay, as I mentioned, you can purchase the Stampin' Stacks empty in my online store. If you have these leftover Stampin' Up! Button or Brad containers, here's what you got to do. Just dump it out. Now we can use it. Nice. Or you can give someone a nice little present of brads instead of candy. Everybody loves the antique brads, right? So we'll be taking some of Stampin' Up! Sticky Strip Adhesive. This is the female duct tape, ladies. So once you put a little bit of this super sticky, sticky strip on the back of your containers, then just peel off the red protective backing. The bottom is going to stick right in the center of the large scallop. And the small one is going to cover the top. Ta-da! Oh, it's so cute already. I've got three strips of Daffodil Delight Grow Grain Ribbon here. This is nine inches, four and a half, and like about one and a half to two inches. I am snailing the back of the long piece. You could also use sticky strip for this. For demonstration purposes, I'll use snail and just wrap it around. Just wrap that around there. Now I'm gonna make a little Fobo on here. You can use snail, but I find the, the mini glue dots are easier to work with. So we're going to start by mini glue dotting one end, and again this is about four and a half inches approximately. Stick that down, mini glue dot the other end, go right into the center and stick that down. So it looks like this, and then a mini glue dot on either end of this one and a half inch strip, and just wrap that right around the front. Ta-da! We have a perfect little Fobo! Couple little mini glue dots on there to stick it to our hat. And I'm gonna stick it right on the seam. So you don't see the seam. And then we'll stick the little top on there. Ha, <laughs> so cute! But wait, we gotta put a little adornment on that bow. To create our little flower adornment from the front, I've got Melon Mambo in the five petal punch, the two larger flowers of Boho Blossoms, one in Pretty in Pink and one in Daffodil Delight to match the ribbon. And yes, I know I have the old style punches here. The ones you'll find in my online store are really cool. They look like this. They have the little locking mechanism, and I cannot wait to upgrade mine to those, but unfortunately today I only have the old style. Sorry. On the five petal punched flower, I'm going to take the bone folder and just loosen up some of the fibers around the edge to bend this up a little bit. It'll give it a little curl, and then we'll layer the flowers with either snail or the mini glue dots. Sixteenth of an inch hole punch or the paper piercer to pop a hole right in the middle of that flower. And then a glimmer brad goes right in the center. A couple Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. And we'll stick that right onto our bow. Don't you just love it? Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And you can fill this with just about anything. You can put the brads back in it and make a really cool gift out of it. You can put chocolates in here, perfect for Easter, wedding favor. You can purchase all of these supplies online in my online store at stampwithtammy.com. And be sure to go there for tons more ideas daily blog posts, and hundreds more videos. Thanks for joining me today.